What's up? It's Olivia aka Lace by Liv and today I'm going to be doing my sneaker collection for basketball. So all my basketball shoes, like I said before in the last video, for my sneaker collection I do have a lot of shoes so I'm going to kind of break it up in segments otherwise it would just be a very long video. So today I'm going to be doing all my basketball shoes. I have seven pairs. So these I just kind of rotate. Um, I play in some summer leagues. I used to play college basketball. So, you know, sneakers are a big deal. So starting it off in no particular order for favorites, we have my Hyperdunks Chicago Edition. These were actually pretty rare to get. I was lucky to get them. Um, these are size 8. So for basketball shoes, I do like them a little bigger. I'm usually a size 7. Um, but I double my socks with these. These only came, like, lowest size was an 8. So, you know, I had to get them. But they're cool. They have, like, graffiti and stuff. Hold on. There we go. So a lot of people actually think I custom these. But I did not. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, good quality. Oh, I forgot that it has F-I-N-A-O. Failure is not an option, so it's kind of inspirational. These are very comfortable. These are the new Hyperdunks 2018. Next up, we have these KD4s. So, back in the day, um, these were like the shoe that was slept on, I would say. These used to be like $95 um, when they first came out and they were just a really good shoe. I only had one pair. I forgot. Yeah, my friend had like five of them. They were like the thing, but um, they brought these back and that's the tongue. Forgot the name. They did like a series of shoes that they brought back, and this is one of them. I think there was 16 of them, maybe. But um, yeah, KD4. That's the inside. Yeah, good shoe, comfortable. Um, these are a little small on me. They're a size seven, so not my favorite to play in but they look really nice um, if I wear like thinner socks or if it's not an intense game I'll wear them but yeah KD4 is super good shoe all right next up we have some Kyrie ones um I forgot when these came out it was definitely years ago in the summertime I just really like the colors nice and bright so yeah, I got these, um, what size are they? Size 7, comfortable shoe, I don't wear them too much because they're loud, I don't really have a lot of yellow but you know, just a regular gym shoe if I'm wearing something that'll match I will wear them but I don't really wear them that much. If anybody does want to buy them, let me know, I'll sell them for like 30 bucks. Hurt the neighbors. All right, next we have these Kyrie's. Um, these were actually from the outlet. Super cheap. Very uh, good material. It's like suede. Super nice shoe. All red. Bottom has like a rainbow thing going on. Comfortable. Um, I always find it cool. Like on certain players' shoes, they have names and stuff. Come on, focus. I just like to read the stories behind those. I love. Okay. So yeah, these are a good pair of shoes. Um, haven't worn them too much, but they're comfy. I love playing in Kyrie's. They just fit to my feet really well. And these are a size 7 as well. They were like 30 bucks, so. Alright, next up, we have the Venice Beach Kyrie's. I actually got these when I went to California. 
um, at the Nike store. Let's see if you can see the inside. Venice Beach, they are wore out a little bit, but I really, I love tie-dye, so this shoe is like right up my alley. Blue is also my favorite color, so it's just a fun shoe. I love these. Comfortable as well, they fit just like the other Kyries I just showed you. And yeah, it's a cool little tongue. It's like Illuminati. <laughs> but yeah, good shoe. Alright, next up we have Focus. Oh my gosh, sorry about the honking. My neighbors are very annoying with that. Okay, some LeBron soldiers with the gum bottom. Size 7 as well. Um, this is just a, a kick around shoe. Like, I don't have to lace them. <clears throat> They're just easy, you know? Easy to throw on, easy to play in, nice support. They match with anything. These are probably my go-to um, along with these Kyries. I wear both of these the most out of all my shoes. Um, if so, I have been wearing these. I started off wearing these a lot last um, season, but not so much anymore. And to finish it all off, one of my favorites the what the Kobe's these are so sick so literally every color we got some blue we got some green we got some red and we got some purple on the bottom we got orange and blue that's yellowish I guess or it's yellow now and purple these shoes are just they're beautiful to look at. I get so many compliments on these shoes when I wear them that like, and the compliments come from like older ladies who just want them to wear. Like, I don't think they understand that they're basketball shoes, but they're like, where did you get those from? Those are so cute. But no, they're basketball shoes. I mean, I guess you can wear them if you want, but it's not something you'll just find. These shoes are like super rare, but back when I used to work at Nike, they, we got a whole shipment of these in and I was so excited. What size are these? Size 8, but they fit small. So these fit me perfect. Um, these are like my outdoor shoes, surprisingly. Um, yeah, so they're really dirty. But I love them. Like, I don't wear them that much just because I don't want to ruin them, but they're just beautiful. I love these shoes. Look at that tongue. The multicolored tongue. Just so nice. And each shoe, the top of the shoelaces, hold on, whoa. They're all different colors. It's pretty cool. So I love these, the What the Kobe's. Um, and yeah, that's literally all my sneakers for my basketball collection. Seven pairs of shoes, nothing too crazy, but I do have a good variety of shoes to rotate. Um, what else? I don't know. What do you guys want to see next? I have, I might just bunch the rest all together, like running, my running shoes, my Vans, my casual shoes, and I have some, some cool other shoes that I'll throw in that just make the collection nice. So comment down below if you do want to see that next, part three of my sneaker collection, that'll be it. And then, um, yeah, I'll do that for you guys. And that's basically it. Give this video a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, comment down below any other video ideas or if you do want to see a part three of my sneaker collection. This is part two, my basketball collection. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Pull up in motor cash. I got a show today. It's all I'm trying to do. Hustle and motivate.